I think if I were to summarize, I'd say that the most common low-hanging fruit that we're seeing right now is using AI in an ERP setting where there's high volumes of data and or high volumes of transactions and or high volumes of analysis required. So if you think about something like a manufacturer that needs to run an MRP, material resource plan, to figure out what raw materials to buy and when, how to get it to their shop floor at the right time so that they can produce and manufacture the products that their customers want when they want them. There's a lot of work that goes into that. And ERP software providers and ERP systems have historically struggled with that entire function because there's so much data that needs to be considered both internally to the organization and externally as well. And then in supply chain management with complex global supply chains and tariffs and trade wars and physical wars, and geopolitical issues throughout the world, managing supply chains is becoming a lot more complex than it used to be. And it requires a lot of knowledge, a lot of data that no one human can process themselves. And that's another area where AI is starting to really make a difference and make a dent in the use of ERP systems.